So I'm going to be talking about how my ex and I started dating. Guys, welcome back to my channel. So basically, yeah, I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me video while I do my makeup video. So just I'm here. So I'm just gonna be looking here because my um, mirror is here. But yeah, let me just prep my skin and then we'll get right into the video. I'm gonna be hydrating my lips with my glasses. By the way, this smells so good. Yeah, and the first thing I'm going to be doing is hydrating my skin with the Omari code. I love this moisturizer. Okay, so we're back. Let's take us on to focus. Okay, so off <laughs> um, um, point because I'm now in a relationship and yeah, but yeah, let's talk about that. How my ex and I started dating. So when I mean my ex, I mean my uni ex, the person I was dating when I was in uni. So I'm just going to be um, putting you guys through what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So I'm going to be trying out the Frame Foundation in Chai. Yeah, that dates in. So let's just say my ex's name is Dexter. 
I don't know why that name popped in my head. So Dexter and I went to the same. So let's just say my ex's name is Dexter. So Dexter and I went to the same college in Nigeria. Um, I went to uni in UK. So Dexter and I went to the same college in Nigeria and um, I won't say we were guys but we used to talk once in a while. I thought he was very cocky so I didn't really like him. I thought he was very um, I just used to um, hang around him a few times because he was friends with my friends, with my male friends. Like I said, he was friends with some of my mutual friends. Oh, because of this. So basically, I was meant to go to uni in September of 2012, but I didn't end up going to uni for reasons um, I'm not gonna share. So when I ended up going to uni in January of 2013, my friends from college and we got talking so on this fateful day i had um so the way that nigerian um, colleges are is that you so the colleges basically um make the students apply to schools that they are affiliated with if that makes any sense most of us end up going to the same universities um, with our friends from college, if that makes any sense. So yeah, um, like I said, I ended up rekindling my relationship, um, my friendships with my college friends. And that day I had a, um, I think Skype call with one of my friends, male friends, and my ex was there. So we're calling him Dexter, right? So Dexter was there. And after I had spoken to my friend, and there were all there were like other guys from my college as well. So I think they were all in the same uni and they were coincidentally in my friend's room that night. So after I had spoken to my friend and obviously they were making noise in the background and then my ex, Dexter, was like, oh, he goes, oh, is that Idara? So I'm going with my beauty um, sponge from a friend. He was like, oh, is that Idara? And my friend, my friend, let's call my friend Femi. Femi was like, yeah, yeah, is Idara. And he's like, oh, hi, Idara. Um, I remember you from college. You used to be that cute girl. And in my mind, I was just like, okay. I never really spoke to... I never really spoke to Dexter like that in college. So how does he remember my name? and even thinks I'm cute, you know? And then I was like, oh, hi, Dexter. And then he was like, oh, yeah, we should talk. And I was like, in my mind, like all this while in my mind, I was like, oh, okay. Like I'm very animated. So in my mind, I was like, oh, okay. And then he's like, oh, can I collect your number from my friend? Femi. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, sure, call out my number. And he's like, oh, what uni are you in? I told him the uni I was in. And he's like, what, what are you studying? I said, law. And he was like, oh, that's cool, that's cool. And then that was it. And only for me to um, end the call and 
I received a message from Dexter. That same night. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I replied his message and I was like, oh yeah, what are you up to? It was like nothing much, you know, they just had some coursework to submit and all of them were like in engineering. I don't know what it is about Nigerian parents are making their kids study engineering. But yeah, all of them were in engineering. And cool that I just got into uni and yeah, so I'm just trying to settle down and stuff like that. So like no worries. And he was like, oh yeah, sure. We should see soon or we should hang out soon. I was like, oh yeah, I don't really know my way around like that. Mind you, this was my very first time in the UK. Um, so like I was going straight to uni my very first time in the UK. So I was like, oh no problem. Um, I can't really see anybody now because you know I'm trying to settle down into uni and shit. <laughs> Cause that's what my parents sent me to do. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Though um, I don't really, I don't really know about seeing anytime soon. But yeah, we we'll definitely hook up. So that was that, and then all of a sudden, I started noticing us chatting a lot. Um, so he was like, yeah, we should get to know each other and stuff like that. And then whilst we started talking, he was like, oh, um, I have a secret to tell you. I was like, oh yeah, so what's the secret? Like, tell me. And he was like, oh, did you know I had a crush on you in back in college? I don't want to mention anymore about college. <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, do you know I had a crush on you back in college? I was like, oh, okay. Um, I didn't know that. That's nice. So how come you didn't like? So I was asking him that how come you didn't act like, you know, you even liked me in the first place? Because like we never really had like conversations. Our conversations were mainly like I had this friend that we used to play basketball. So our conversations just with just me like, hi, hello. And stuff like that and that was even because of our like mutual friends like I already said and yeah and then he was like yeah I had a crush on you and I would like to get to know you and stuff like that I don't think he said I'd like to get to know you but yeah that's basically what he meant So yeah, I was like, okay, cool, no problem. So we started talking, you know, texting more, chatting more, and stuff like that. I found out that he was really cool. Like, he was a dick though sometimes. <laughs> and he was a dick ex especially to people he didn't like. So if he didn't like you, he would treat you like shit. Which... I didn't think it was nice, but yeah, back at the time, so yeah, um, so finally, we started talking and you know, getting to know each other, we used to spend time with each other on the phone because I hadn't um, fully settled down into uni, so remember that he was, he was already in uni. So basically, his first year was coming to an end. That year, like, I was just starting uni. So our priorities were definitely different. And stuff. So yeah. And then... Um, so this was like around February, because I got to... Um, I got to Jan in February. So I got to Jan like the last day in... January. So like February, uh, like 
next February. We spoke before. So March, I was going to be on break and he was like, oh, why don't we see now that you're on a break? So I was like, okay, cool, no problem. I'm on a break, why not? And then he was like, okay, let's go to Manchester because his family lived in Manchester at the time. Basically, his brothers. So his brothers lived in Manchester at the time. And I was like, why not? I've never been to Manchester. It would be nice to go to Manchester. So, I'm just using this. Yeah. So, I was like, why not? I've never been to Manchester. It would be nice to even like meet your family and stuff. So, we got to Manchester and it was really really nice so he had booked a hotel that we we're gonna stay at so the day i got i think i got it like on friday he was already there he had also um made arrangements for dinner so apparently his brother's girlfriend too was in town and his brother was like oh yeah why don't we go for like dinner together and then he was like yeah sure so he told me when we got there so immediately i dropped my bag at the hotel um change into something nice sorry just a sec so yeah maybe we got to the hotel i just changed into something nice and then we stepped out to a restaurant. I can't remember the name, but it was like a popular like Nigerian restaurant and stuff. Um, that I think turned into a bar at night and stuff. So stuff like that. So when we got to the restaurant, you know, we ordered food. You know, I just sat down there quietly because this was my first time hanging out with him alone. Well not alone, but like outside of like school and stuff. So, I just ordered stuff. We listened to music because there was like a band playing. So, yeah, it was really nice. And his brother was really cool too. I remember his brother like asking me, Oh, am I shy? Of course, I'm shy. I'm barely 19. Oh, I was just about to turn 19 that year. And I was like, of course I'm shy. And yeah, so we had dinner, we just did. I really loved the vibe that night because it was so chill. Like I just gotten I just gotten in um from the train station and it was straight to dinner and stuff. So I really liked that and yeah. He, we get back to our hotel, you know, I think I drank that night, so I was a little bit tipsy, you know, took a shower and slept. And I woke up the next morning and then um, I think there was breakfast available at the hotel or I can't remember, I think we went to his brother's house to have breakfast, I'm not really sure. So yeah, that was what we did. Um, what happens after so this is Saturday now right and we're just meant to spend the weekend together but guess what we ended up spending like almost I think five days together and we ended up going out a couple more times for dinner alone this time so now we didn't go out for dinner with his brother or anybody. It was just us. And you know, Manchester. Excuse me, Manchester is really nice, by the way. Um, really cool place. So yeah, we ended up going for dinner, and it was it was amazing. Like the previous nights. Um, 
yeah so moving on um what did we do um i think we went to the cinema as well see i'm not sure this this was a long time ago i think this was 2013 so that's about eight years ago oh wow january so that's about eight years ago so like 2013 and yeah we just got to know each other and nothing serious to be honest nothing serious and what did we do what did we do and then um, if i remember correctly on the day we meant to go our separate ways or on the day i was meant to go back to my uni my sad uni um i got to the train station and i was just sad you know i was really really sad so i'm going to design palette just sad i remember he was like oh you like PDA i didn't know you're a PDA type of babe and i was just like excuse me uncle of course i love PDA Oh, of course I like PDA. Who doesn't? I was crying and all that. It was just sad to be leaving him because like it was a really nice experience. My first time in Manchester as well. Oh, that was very mushy sharp. That is the end of my story time and I'm just gonna try and get the rest of my makeup done.